Let's take a look at how to enable database maintenance in Backup Exec version 21. So at the upper left hand corner, we'll click on the drop down and then choose configuration and settings. And then I'm going to click on Backup Exec settings and a new box will appear. And on the left hand side, we're going to see database maintenance and security. So what database maintenance does is it goes into the database and decides how long a backup or backup information is going to stick around before it gets deleted to make room for new information. So you can see that the database maintenance is enabled and it's enabled by default now in version 21. And you can also see the last time and day that it was performed. You also see that the database maintenance is going to happen daily at 4 a.m. You can change that if you need to. And we can delete aged data after what we see the default of 90 days. Now you could change that also to keeping the data on media that have current overwrite protection period. So if you have the uh, overwrite protection set on here, and that is set here under storage, and we see we have media overwrite protection level is set to none. Also, it's set in the job itself. In the job, it shows how long the data should be kept. So by checking this box, you'll make sure that it won't overwrite during that protection period. But 90 days is usually longer than what most people keep their data for. So if you wanted to keep that for the uh, default, that would be fine. But take a look at your job and see how long you're keeping that data first. Underneath that, we see the amount of days that we're going to keep data before deleting it from the backup exec database. So you've got logs, history, report, and audit logs. Now, this isn't the data itself that's being backed up. This is just the information about the backup. So job logs, for instance, you, if you double click on one of the jobs, you can see job logs, what happened, if there was any kind of a problem. Also, same thing with alert history, report, and audit logs. So if I cancel all of this for a second and I double click on a job, I can go to job history. Here's one of the things that it, it talked about. And we can see there is information about one of the jobs. So you can decide how long to keep that information before it's overwritten by making a change to the database maintenance. Although it's not enabled by default, it is a good idea to perform database consistency checks because sometimes the databases do get out of sync with the data that's on the uh, hard drive or backup job, whatever it is, the medium that you're using to back up the data to. That could be a cloud device as well. So what this will do is do a consistency check just to make sure that all stays in sync. And then underneath that, the box is checked by default to save contents of database to the backup exec data directory. So the data directory is going to be, if I go into this PC and I go into my backup drive, there is the BE data folder, also known as a directory. So that is where the data is being kept by default. Optimizing database size is not a bad idea either if you're running low on space. So what this will do is it will compress the amount of data that's in there and delete any open space. You can also set up a database encryption key to migrate to recover the backup exec server. So this does possibly cause an issue if you end up wanting to set up encryption. You can set up an encryption key to recover the backup exec server if you need it. If you're not using encryption, then you don't need to worry about that. Once you set everything the way you want, you click OK, and now the database maintenance is all set up.